See? There we go. <laughs> if you guys didn't watch my video from two days ago, you'd have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But thank you so much for 600,000 subscribers. We finally got there. Today I wanted to share with you something kind of crazy. Now, I'm not going to be on Minecraft for this video. It's going to be very different, but I will be talking about Minecraft. This has got to be some of the strangest yet coolest things I've seen in AI development. Now, what am I talking about exactly? This is the Face D Pixelizer. It's kind of created by Alex Damien, Satsheet, and Dennis Melamanov. It's gone kind of viral because of what people are doing with it. That uses StyleGAN to attempt to depixelize a face that you upload and generate a human face that doesn't exist in the world. For example, if you go to thispersondoesnotexist.com, it is going to create a face of a person that does not exist in the world. So there you go. It's hard to believe, but this person does not exist in this world. And if you want to generate another one, you just refresh the page. It's going to generate another face of a person that does not exist. This uses a framework called StyleGAN, which generates high quality images of human faces. So Face Depixelizer uses the StyleGAN framework to create a human face using a reference image that you upload. Now I'm not gonna record myself using this live because there's a lot of traffic that goes on now. I'm, I'm aware that by creating this video, there's gonna be a lot more traffic here, but it's died down lately, which is why I was able to do it. You can see all of the different nodes that you can modify for your own amusement, but I've already done them because I don't want to uh, risk the traffic. I was really lucky to, to live in Australia, which is great because not many people do it during my time zone, but here we go. So obviously the first image I used was Steve. So I uploaded Minecraft Steve. Uh, it's got a noticeable face, kind of. Now I know this is already the thumbnail of this video, but if you haven't seen the thumbnail, this is what Steve looked like once I did it. So here is the data that it generates, so it uploads it. You can see the background has has come from his shoulders, and if I just go to the high resolution image, there is Minecraft Steve in real life, what he would look like. Don't know whether you thought this would be the case. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. Look at his chin. I don't know what's happened here. Uh, it's got He's wearing a skivvy, kind of. So <laughs> he had to be a square. His face is a square. Oh my god. We're gonna have a lot of fun with these guys. Here's Alex. Minecraft Alex was next. Now, I was really curious as to how this would turn out. The, the neck, the ginger hair, the one that covers the shoulder here. But this is the result of Minecraft Alex. It's a dude. <laughs> the image has been stretched to fit this framework, but this is Alex. It's a guy. Don't know why. It's obviously... There's a bit of warping happening over here. This pixel's a bit off. Poor ear here has been destroyed. But there is Alex. You'll get a ton of different results depending on the image that you put in. Next up, we have the plain villager that doesn't have a job. And when I uploaded that, we got this dude. Kind of a middle-aged man. Uh, again, this weird pixel over here. Look at the... <laughs> look at the warping happening to the hair. It's like he's standing in the wind. But he's in a field, which is nice. It's kind of... The point that that did work. The nose is fairly normal. I like this one. This one's a good result. This is a skeleton and if I show you the result, it became a middle-aged woman. So <laughs> again, the square, the squareness of it just had to happen. But you can see the resemblance now. Now I'm not saying that she looks like a skeleton. This is an AI. Remember, a human would not do this. And here's a zombie. As you'll know, the zombie doesn't have any real discernible facial features, so this program might have a bit of trouble doing it, and as it turns out, it did. You can't... <laughs> the color balance is just off with this one. Got a Minecraft Witch. Now, this one's actually very pixelized, so the result isn't that bad. And as you can see, it's really not that bad, but again, the pixel just ruins it. I don't like it. The Witch has become a guy. Got the Enderman, so got the eyes, but again, no real facial features going on here. So, there's the Enderman. <laughs> He's wearing a jacket, but the square face, the hair just square. Everything's a square. Final one I did is a creeper from Minecraft, and there's your creeper. Not that great, but again, like, it's a creeper. Creep you can it was the fa where's the face of the creeper? You can't. Clearly, my favorite one is uh, this guy. <laughs> The Steve dude. That's my favorite. And so I'm really happy that Steve and Alex were able to kind of have their time in the sun in this video. Everyone else, 
bar a few were actually quite bad. So you can have fun with it, just go to Face Depixelize, you can look it up. I will put it in the description, but just be aware, traffic is always going to be a problem when it comes to things like these. We obviously can have a ton of fun with this, <laughs> as we have been, just creating a portrait of a person that does not exist, like that. This person does not exist in this world despite what you think. It looks so real, but it's actually fake. Thank you all so much for watching. Different kind of video, but I wanted to show you this crazy piece of technology that you can try out for yourselves. Take care.